Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're doing another episode of our Let's Play, or I guess you call it Let's Play here, um, with modded Farming Simulator 19. Um, I had to make a few changes, add in a few new mods, a whole bunch of stuff, because um, obviously in seasons it takes a long time to do things, so i changed a lot since we've been gone, and I'll give you guys a quick overview of what's changed in the time frame of the last time we've talked. I believe the last time we talked, I changed the three-day seasons, so that's one thing. So now we're here we are in the summer, the late summer, just before it transitions over to um, harvesting time. We'll probably won't be able to harvest this until midnight tonight. Um, it looks like it's ready to harvest, but in seasons, just because it says it looks like it, it is not. So we'll be harvesting very shortly. Um, one thing I also did was buy a chicken coop. Uh, I don't know. I just felt like I should give it a shot. I spent some money chopping down trees and built it, and I am now actively making eggs. I'm not sure that this is the best way to go about it, but I have since bought 50 or so chickens. 50, yeah, 50 chickens, and then I had two other chickens born because I put a rooster in there as well. So yeah, I got, um, so I have egg production going on. And I also learned, uh, here we gotta do Alt G, or is it Control G? Control G to see our production facilities. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I guess it's not a production facility. I'm sorry. Control S. Look at this. And I need to clean my chicken coops. So the way to clean chicken coops I did not realize was to get a front end loader or something to scoop this because you'll see like there's these piles of um, chicken feed here um, on the ground. So the only way to really clean that up is to get a front loader and scoop it, or maybe download a mod where like a broom mod to sweep here. I don't know what the way to do it <coughs> for real is right now, but in a little bit, um, I think we'll be doing what we gotta do with this tractor. Now I notice I have this tractor back. I started with this tractor um, and realized I don't need that green tractor um, for everything that I'm doing. I saved some money, bought the cheap tractor again, and that gave me some money so I could buy this and buy this chicken coop house for the eggs. Um, I can open this up and you can see how many eggs I have in here. I already have two full egg crates. Keeps them refrigerated, I guess. I, I don't know the right uh, term for it is. Can I open it? I, I have no idea. Whatever. But <clears throat> when I get the eggs, I toss them in here. Something I check in and do. So I'm definitely going to be getting a front loader to clean up this area to help the chickens produce eggs a little bit faster. Hopefully that that's something that I can do, but I'm probably just going to have to move. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I have a load of logs that needs to be loaded out. We'll do that in a little bit. First, let's, let's pull this out of here. Drop that. And let's go upgrade this tractor. Because we need to get... We need to get a front loader attachment on. For fifteen hundred bucks, that's pretty cheap. Um, customize, sure. And then we need to go get a front loader attachment itself. What are there any cheaper ones? Probably not. I got this CSZ. Uh, attach. Oh, look at that. That's uh, only good for the Fent. This is only good for the MF. Yeah, they're specifically meant for specific trailers, so for, for, for specific tractors. So I only have really two options to pick from. The stole or the John Deere. Or this one. Technically, <laughs> I don't know which one or the other is better, but we'll just go with this one. And then we'll also go get a small bucket. Now, the bucket they have here is a universal bucket. Hold 940 to 1400. Do I have another bucket that's cheaper? Probably not. Nope. Just gotta get the universal bucket. Alright, and you know what? I'm going to cheat a little bit. 
in case you guys are ever curious. Select your tractor that you're not in it. As a reset. And then when you go to teleport to it, it'll be right at the place where you bought the stuff. Pretty cheaty, but I don't mind. And there we are. Now, I don't know that this tractor is going to be... Oh, jeez, it's going to be loud for recording. Let's lower down the tractor volume here. This tractor is way too loud. Let's back up, too. This tractor is obviously way too small for this kind of work, but for cleaning a um, chicken coop, this will work just fine. All i got to do is just scoop near the loading area and it'll scoop up some feed and then you can always put the feed back in it's just always there's a little spillage when you uh, dump feed for the chickens so we're gonna do that real quick then we're gonna go sell those logs to earn back the money we just had and we'll be done for that and then hopefully by late this afternoon we'll be able to potentially harvest tomorrow morning our fields so that is our goal. Um, I had to check in with you guys to show you what I've done. I've cut a lot of trees down mostly. I've cut down all the pine trees that I could get pretty easily within that far hill over there uh, to just earn whatever money I can to keep me going and upgrading my farm until the harvest season. Now one of my goals also with the harvest is I want to be able to get um, uh, straw bales. Um, or if not straw bales, a way to make straw pellets. Um, and I'm in the process of figuring out how I'm going to do that. Um, there's obviously the DLC, the Straw Harvest DLC, that will makes it so that you can pelletize stuff right off the field, but I wanted to know if there was a global company way of doing it so that I don't have to uh, buy really expensive equipment uh, just so I can make straw pellets to make money and then pay off the straw pellet equipment so I want to see if there's a way to do it <coughs> so let's go ahead and scoop lower the bucket and scoop should be that simple oh I spilled it I spilled it, but I don't know if it's clean, so I don't see the pile here anymore. So the real question comes down to, is the, yep, clean now. So I spilled the 16 wheat, whatever, but now it is clean. So, little trick of the trade there. Drop this off. Since we do not need this anymore. That's another thing I got there. I got a new fertilizer spreader. I tried to lime a field, and I failed um, with a smaller spreader because I forgot I didn't have a tractor with narrow tires. Hence why I got this tractor. And then I realized this tractor does not, or this trailer does not have narrow tires, and I can't give it narrow tires. So crop destruction is on, and that's why there's you'll see tire marks in my fields because I tried to lime the field or fertilize the field or drive across it without narrow tires on. Oops, and I'm an idiot. We don't want this on. Let's leave the whole thing attached. And let's put it a little bit better than that. That was a really bad way to drop it off. Now it's off. Okay. All right. Hook back up to our trailer. And the reason why I put the chicken feed there like that, which is just wheat. I put the chicken feed like that so that way all I have to do is park this thing right on top. And all we have to do is dump. Fill and dump all in the same motion. Alright, let's go get this tractor with our logs. Go get them uh, sold. Great demand at the O'Connor farm. For what? Or I don't see. Connor.
Connor Farm. Do I need to scroll down? Connor Farm. It's right here. They're going up on the bottom. The only thing the O'Connor Farm buys is grass at zero dollars. I don't know. One of the things I also want to want to do is I want to, like I said, I want to get into pelletizing. And if I get into pelletizing, I'm going to have to build a sell point to sell pelletized straw. So one of the things I want to do. Let's go get this. Sold at whatever value I can get for it. I'll probably get like two or three thousand for it. See, it says there's a special sale going on, but I don't know what that special sale is at the Connor Farm. It's blue, too. I don't know. Okay, sell that off. Oh, a lot more than I thought. Alright, so we're off to a decent start with that. Chicken eggs may be a fail. I don't know if that's going to be very productive. It gives me something to do in the off season with my wheat um, and feeding chickens. So I'll keep track of how much wheat it is for me to feed them in a year. I don't think I'm going to get right now if I'm selling wheat. Let's just take a look. If I'm selling wheat. I'm getting 530 for it. The most. Yeah, so I could get up to like 900 for it potentially during the, the special seasons. So if it only costs me, let's see, 7,212 at roughly 500. So, you know, we're talking $35,000 a year to keep this going. If I don't make more than $35,000 in eggs, it's not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Plus all the investment I had to put the chickens, not worth it. Not that there's a lot of money in the chickens, but we'll see. All right, um, you're all set, you're all hooked up. We got wheat in here, chickens are fed for the most part. Let's go ahead and feed them more. Just curious, will I make a mess? Come this is still a hundred. Whatever. Cool. Easy enough. These are a bunch of like this tool is going to be rarely used. This one I'm going to try to lime that field this season when I finally get around to harvesting it. Like I said, I I went and limed this portion fairly poorly clearly and I would like to lime this side jeez um, it's just going to be hard <laughs> I hate liming I, I knew I should have turned off liming I knew it um, I don't have much else to do but to wait and I don't really feel like logging so we're going to sleep oh by the way I put my I bought a fuel tank and put a fuel tank here so I can keep my stuff uh, filled up here's my pile of fertilizer that I accidentally dumped I just realized this is a poor spot for filling this up with wheat as I'm doing my dumps because I gotta get it on a weird angle and dump it into here. Um, unless I'm doing side dumping. We'll see. But, yeah, we're gonna go get some sleep. Wake up in time for. What? I'm not tired. Why can't I sleep anywhere? At any time. That's annoying. Super annoying. Well, it looks like I got no choice but to keep busy with logging. Um, I have time on speed up a little bit, times 30, so I probably could like get like another log, another tree cut down at the most, so we'll see what we can do in that time frame. Actually, we're going to spend this time to look up what I was saying before about what we need for 
pelletizing. Um, I don't have anything downloaded for that, do I? Oh wait, production. Sawmill, wood chipper, nope, don't want any pallet production, nope, don't care. This is going to be a place where we could sell a lot of things. Buy here what you need for your animals, fields, and productions. I guess you could buy stuff. Sales for wood products, okay. I don't have any of those mods, so I'm going to have to find those mods for pallet production for pellet production so that's something we'll do in the next episode is I will find a way to do pellet production I'd like to store like where is it storage sheds I think I have some more silos I thought I had Oh, so here's the pallet sell point, so that's where I'm going to sell pallets. I bought that. Here's a fuel station. Mobile BGA, if I want to do BGA stuff. Okay, this is where I can store bales of hay. You know, like, should be automatically storage, so like, if I don't know what to do with the hay baled hay just yet, like, Bailing the hay takes time. I might just pass on bailing it. It depends if bailing is an option while I find a way to shred it. So that is something I'm gonna have to do in the. I'm gonna have to do it at the end because I don't have. Yeah, I don't have everything I need in this to do pallet production. Actually, wait, I should. It's part of the straw harvest data. I thought. Yeah, I got the stuff to do the pellet machines. Oh man, I just I just guess I don't have everything. I'm just gonna have to do some research a bit, I think, because here's bales. I'll have to do some research. I'll come back with the necessary add-ons in order to do um, the job of pelletizing. So that means that I'm gonna need a way to either store the straw either in its pure straw form or in bales. Um, so we'll at least at the very least get to the next day so we can see how the harvest goes and see what we're gonna be getting off of our fields. You know, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna cut down a odd tree. We're not going to cut down. We're going to cut down one of these guys. Just because I don't feel like locking, looking for another. Pine tree. Yeah, these trees are annoying to cut down. Mostly because of this crap. The extra stuff. This is no fun cutting out this kind of tree. You get like no logs off of it. At least no long logs. And easy to cut logs. It's a much slower process. You get stuff like this that happens, it's really annoying. You get oblong pieces that don't quite fit in the machine very well. Drag on the ground. And hang out of the trailer. That's another annoying thing.
Jeez, yeah, these weird shapes make it really difficult to pick up, move around, and not get these things snagged on other things. I did not cut that very well at all. Alright, we'll see what this gets us. These odd lo oblong trees tend to jackknife the trailer, so I'm hoping this just doesn't happen. Just want to get to sleep. I gotta kill the time until about darkness in about two hours, which will be enough time at this speed that I'm going to sell this portion of the tree off to get some money. So, yeah, I'm gonna need some form of bailing technology. Square bales are preferable, but they cost so much to make square bales. I don't know which machine even does square bales. I'd rather not even do bales if I can help it, but... Like, can I load straight straw into a place with a forge wagon? Would be ideal. Wow, that would have got us no money. These guys are the ones that make chipping. This is a good pelletized straw right on the field. Otherwise, I gotta buy this attachment that collects the bales off the field to then do it. This is a big pack of convenient bales. Take a look at that a little bit more. So, bailing technology. I actually have some cheap balers. I have a really cheap baler here that I like to get. Um, and then I've got a really cheap bale wrapper. I don't know which is which, but oh, it's a used one. Another bale wrapper. I don't know which ones. This is a round baler, okay. Oh, it says right on top for that one. Oh, but I could do a round baler here and attach it to this, I see, and it would give me a wrapped bale without me having to go around and wrap the bale separately, I see. That's kind of nice. Um, bale container. What is this? Baler to the drawer and convenient bales. What kind of bales? That looks like a rectangular bale. That's nice. Okay, for that price it's not so bad. And there's the bale shredder, the bale chipper, bale collector, holds 16 bales, a 3 bale collector, a bale wrapper that can do both kinds. This one does bale wrapping, so this one does it all. Collection and bale wrapping all in one machine. This one does rectangular bales. And this one does rolling bales. Yeah, we don't really have the bale technology to do this, and I don't have the buildings needed to do what I want to do either, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. Well, that's going to be a little bit annoying. We are
are definitely going to have to find a way to do that. Well, we got three days to get this started. As soon as we get this started, I will show you guys that, and we will we will find a way to c collect those bales or turn them into chips. I'll have to download the mods to do so, because I think chipping is the way to go. I just find it so strange I don't have the chipper mods. Thought I did, because I, if I have, oh, maybe it's under here. Here they are. Oh, okay, pellet hall. Store bulk materials and park your vehicles. You can straw store straw pellets and hay pellets with the crane. It's easy to fill your machinery. Okay, and then this turns them into pallets um, and stack them on the pallets with the crane. So it's easy to fill the palletizer. Pellet palletizer. This is what I want. Cost five hundred thousand, but that's what I want. Yeah, that's totally what I want. That's that's gonna cost so much. So that means that I'm likely not gonna be there anytime soon to turn them into pallets. Um, but if I can make pallets any way, shape, or form, I could then sell the pellets at a sell point. Oh, this could also store hay. So that's a possibility. Can this store hay? Yep, this could store hay too. Well, 250,000. This can hold 250,000. Okay, so I have ways of storing hay. Alright, so I have ways of doing things. I just don't have the money for it. So, let's go to sleep. Sleep time, so in two hours we need four, so we need like five hours or so. Not quite, a little bit more. So we need like a little bit more time to get to daylight. Okay, well now we're in daylight. Now we can finally harvest. These should be ready to go, ready to harvest. They were ready to harvest at midnight, but we bought this guy off the mod hub, relatively cheap. Notice there's no cabin, because we don't care. Let's lower our header. Let's unfold the harvester. Let's turn on the harvester and let's do this initial first pass ourselves. We got our straw swath coming out. Perfect. I knew that I was going to miss some. 